Let's talk about how text headers can help you organize your modules for your students and for yourself. So text headers are essentially just labels that you put in your modules to organize things or separate them or categorize them. And you do them by clicking on this plus sign in the module. And then from the drop down, you pick text header, and then you can type whatever it is that you want it to say. For instance, in this doll's house module, whenever we start, we actually do a little mini unit on Victorian era etiquette. So I added a text header for that, and then all the items about Victorian etiquette I know go under this section. That helps me stay organized and my students stay organized. Since the next section is an introduction to a doll's house, and then we jump into Act 1. And then there's Act 2, and Act 3, and then a conclusion, and then connections. So if I didn't have these text headers, this would be a giant module with no kind of organization. These headers help students know where to go, because what I can say is, Okay, everybody, we are in the Doll's House module, and we are on the introduction to a Doll's House. We are going to look at the essential questions. And what I've done is I've just given students exactly where they need to go for the information. Another thing to keep in mind is there's nothing for students to do with a text header. Text headers are just there as labels. Another cool thing that you can do with your text headers is you can insert emojis. So for instance, with this Victorian era etiquette, I added a little top hat. And this is actually really easy to do and can make it a little bit more fun. Act one of a doll's house is during Christmas time. So I'm going to see if there is a Christmas tree. So what you do is you're going to right click. And I have a MacBook, so you may not have this option if you have a regular computer. Click Emojis and Symbols, and then it's going to give you all the emojis and symbols. And it even has a search bar at the top, so I wonder if I type in tree. Oop, and there's a little Christmas tree. Boom. Act 1. Update. And now my little Christmas tree is in there. And you can do this with a lot of different things. It makes it super cute. Um, and organize. It may also be good for smaller age students. Um, elementary school was the word I was looking for. I don't know why I said smaller age because you can say look for the top hat um, which can sometimes help our more visual learners. If you create a text header and you need to go in and edit it you can just click on this stoplight on the three dots Click edit, and then you can change it to whatever you need to. You don't have to worry about these being too long because they don't sync to Power Teacher or your grade book. So they can be as long as you want them to be, and they also can have the emojis. Another thing that you can do to help your students stay organized is you can indent items. You can do like this. Click on the stoplight, the three dots, increase indent. And if I do that for all these items, do you notice the difference? I think it just kind of helps your eye to see where it needs to go next. You can also you can increase them a lot. You also, if you decide don't like it. You can decrease them. I think increasing them at least one indent away from your text headers just helps your eye to be able to kind of see, okay, this is different than the text header. I'm going to show you another example of how this organization can help you and your students stay organized. So if I go into this credit recovery course, can see I used a hand emoji to say stop obviously we need to read these directions and information one of their assignments is to sign up for a mind so I got to put a little phone emoji see how these are indented 
Then we go into the different units, and there's four units. The first unit is about theme. Things have been indented. Then we go into grammar. We're going to fiction, nonfiction, and then the final step with the green check mark emoji. So you can use these to really kind of organize yourself and spice up your Canvas page for your students. The only thing you need to keep in mind is emojis really kind of need to stay on the titles of your modules or the titles of or these text headers. You can't put them on assignments and things. Anything that's going to PowerSchool can't have emojis on it or it's going to be ugly when it goes over to PowerSchool. So we just use emojis and text headers and indents to organize and spice up our Canvas modules.